One of the Haydocks is involved in the story of the witch Meg Shelton, whose grave is in St Anne's Church in Woodplumpton. William Haydock, the then Lord of Cotton, was a keen huntsman. Meg Shelton lived in a hovel called Cuckoo Hall in Wesham, which was on Haydock property. Meg was blamed for causing all the bad luck of the local community. William complained to the supposed witch that he could find no hares to hunt. Meg Shelton agreed to make hares appear on the condition that she be given a new cottage to move into on his estate in Woodplumpton near to Cotton Hall. She made the condition that he should not use one of his fiercest black hounds. A hare magically appeared almost immediately and the chase was long and hard. As evening came on, the squire forgot his promise. The dog was let loose and almost caught the hare which saved its own life by jumping in through the witch's window. The dog managed to bite the hare's leg as it disappeared and then Meg Shelton suddenly appeared from the door, limping, which she did for the rest of her life. She obviously got her new house as when she died in 1705 she was buried in Woodplumpton. She was buried by torchlight but her corpse was found back again on top of the grave every morning and as often as it was reburied it appeared again. Her spirit was finally laid to rest by the priest of Cotton Hall when she was buried in a narrow shaft head down so that she couldn't dig her way out. The boulder was put on top to keep her in the grave.